Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get this beautiful rose tinted eye look with the gorgeous model Robin. I'm starting by cleansing the skin with Cojan Doe cleansing water and then I'm going to hydrate using MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus Spray. I'm going to buff that in with my MAC Cosmetics Large Fiber Optic Brush and I'm just going to make sure that's beautifully massaged into Robin's skin. I'm hydrating the lips with Glossier's Balm.com, which I'm absolutely loving. And then I'm going to hydrate the skin some more using Ember Lace, which is a French moisturizer, which is also great for dry to normal skin types. So once that's massaged into the skin, I'm also going to apply a primer today, and I'm using Laura Mercier's Radiance Primer. And you'll see the beautiful glow that it leaves on Robin's skin. Now I'm going to use Armani Luminous Silk 6.5 foundation and I'm just applying that to Robin's center of her face because her skin's so amazing. She actually doesn't need much coverage. So just the tiniest amount under the eyes, around the nose, a little bit on the forehead and on the chin area. I'm just using my fingers to really melt that product into Robin's skin. I'm going to finish by buffing this foundation into the neckline and just all over the face. I'm using that same brush that I had the Fix Plus spray on, which gives a little bit of extra hydration and just really works that product in so Robin's skin looks like her own. I don't want the makeup to look cakey at all today. You can see a nice close-up. It's looking really fresh and luminous, just the way I like it. So next I'm going to just groom Robin's brows. Her brows are really full already, so I'm just coming in with NARS Clear Brow Gel. And then I'm going to start by concealing where needed. So I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer, and this is in the shade Macadamia. And again, I'm using my fingers to really warm the product into the skin, and so it melts away and it looks really flawless and natural. I often get asked what my favorite concealer is and this would have to be in my top five. I just find it's really creamy so it doesn't really uh, get dry or flaky on areas, especially if you're covering uh, pimples or acne. Um, and I find that the shades are beautiful as well. I tend to have a few in my kit. So sometimes, you know, you can use lighter ones under the eyes and then a dark one for the skin tone if you want that extra dimension in the makeup. So once all the concealer is melted into the skin, next I am going to come in with Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in Intensity 1 and I'm going to buff that in and this is a MAC Cosmetics makeup brush that I'm using and I love the shape of this brush because you can get a really sharp edge on that contour. But we're going to make it look like a beautiful bronze look. We don't want it to be really heavy, so I'm just using minimal product and just really warming up those cheekbones. And now I'm going to sculpt the jawline and then I'll finish off with a little bit on her nose. So this is just going to make her nose look a little bit slimmer down the center. Next I'm going to highlight with the white area of the shade Illuminate and this is just the ultimate for highlighting. I just love how glossy and sheer the product is and as you've probably seen in my other videos I'm using it on all my girls. So number one for eyes is always curling the lashes. I like to do this when there's no product. It just makes it easier and that's a Chanel lash curler. Next I'm coming in with a paint pot and this is in groundwork and this is just going to create my base. So the main colour we're using today is that really beautiful fuchsia mulberry colour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm going to just pop that into the crease and really work on blending it out because this is going to be probably the main solid colour of the look. So once I've done that, next I'm going to carry that underneath the eye. And this is another MAC Cosmetics brush, 239, which I use all the time. It's really soft. And it's going to blend that same colour from the Anastasia palette under the eye. Next, I'm coming in with the Marc Jacobs Provocateur palette. And I'm using the really beautiful metallic lilac shade. And I'm just coming in with a 217 brush and lightly buffing that all over the lid. And this is just going to really pick up Robin's green eyes and make them pop. So I really love these two colours together. And there's a little close up and you can see how beautiful it's looking already. So I've got that shape and I've really worked on winging out the look. 
Next, I'm going to line the upper and lower waterline, and this is using MAC Cosmetics Feline Coal Liner. And I always have this liner in my kit. It's such a go-to for me if I'm using black. I don't use black a lot in my makeup looks, but today I really wanted something a little bit stronger on the eyes. So now I'm coming in with MAC Cosmetics Hot and Naughty 2 Black Mascara. I'm just gonna pop a few coats on the upper and lower lashes. And you can see I'm using my beloved fan brush, which is also from MAC, and it just really helps me to separate the lashes. I don't actually use this brush on myself. It's only when I'm using makeup on models and clients. It just really helps me get the mascara on the upper and lower lashes evenly. And there you can see the eyes are all coming together. Next, I'm going to spray the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I'm absolutely loving for fresh skin. I've been using this a lot lately, actually, and I'm really loving it. So I just wanted a little bit more color to the cheeks. So I'm using a NARS Orgasm Illuminator, and it's a really beautiful, creamy product. I'm just gonna tap that onto the cheekbones. And I'm just coming in now, having a look at the eyes, making a few adjustments. I'm blending it out a little bit. And now I'm just gonna pop the smallest amount of powder in the center of the face. And this is by Laura Mercier. And it's a secret brightening powder. To finish the look, I'm going to add a little bit more bronzer using Benefits Hula Bronzer, which I absolutely love. And here is a beautiful finished look. Super, super dewy. Beautiful rose tinted eyes on Robin. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Leave any questions or comments below.